Hello? What do I want? <laughs> I want Cadbury. The Cadbury Show! It closes at half past three and the manager leaves at four. The watchman comes on at five. Now, oh, that gives me an hour to get in through the skylight. Hello, Paris, it's me, Jack Happy, brought to you each week by Spino. Use Spino for rheumatism, arthritis, and lumbago. But I haven't got rheumatism, arthritis, or lumbago. You just wait till you use Spino. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell me, tell me, uh, what are you working on, Paris? I, oh, uh, uh, oh, nothing, Jack. Oh, let's see, what, give me, give me a look at that. No, no, come no, on, come, come here, come here. No. What? Uh. The manager leaves at four, the watchman comes on at five... Chris, you're not planning to break into the bank, are you? Well, I was, you see. Per! All right. I've cased the local bank and I'm dropping through the sky like the Sarbo. Jack, I'm desperate for money. Oh, purse, pal, purse, I'm ashamed of you. Look, why, why don't you go after some good, honest money? There's nothing dishonest about the money in the bank. <laughs> No, 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 Pierce, no, I mean, why don't you work and save? It's no good, Jack. Something always goes wrong with my jobs. Look at the last one. I was working a pneumatic drill. Well, didn't they pay you well for that? Up to a point. Up to a point, eh? <laughs> you see, one day the air pipe got blocked. Mm -hmm. And I was just going to blow through the pipe to clear it when the air rushed through it again. They docked me for the time I was up off the ground. <laughs> Yes, I see. Pierce, tell me, are you serious? No, I'm an Aussie. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll get on to another one. <clears throat> but look, if you rob this bank, uh, if you rob this bank, Pierce, maybe you'll get four or five thousand pounds, and if you're lucky, you'll get away with it and live the rest of your life in luxury. But on the other hand, there's always the chance that the manager leaves at four and watchman comes on at five. You beaut, Jack. I'm glad you're going to be in it with me. <laughs> you just leave it to me, I'll organize it. Now look. All you have to do, Purse, is disconnect the burglar alarm, open the front door of the bank, blow a hole in the safe, stack the note underneath bundles of five pounds, patch up the hole in the safe, lock the front door, reconnect the burglar alarm, sprint 500 yards down the street where I'll be waiting in a fast, single-seater getaway car. Hi. Can't I go in the getaway car? Purse, you don't want to do everything, do you? Ah, uh, just the same. We'll be on Easy Street. That's easy money. We can split it 50-50. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. That's far enough, brother. I was only joking. I... I thought this was a gag or something. Oh, no, it's no joke. Oh, you say that again. Pris, Pris, come on. Come here, Pris. Yeah, right, come you. on. Yeah. i got to choke you out of this thing. Now, listen, Pris. Pris, you come to your papa boy. Oh, sing me something. I will. Now, you just, uh, you just listen here. You let your old Uncle Jack tell you, Pris. Oh, the groaner. Crime, crime doesn't pay. And you have to learn to be satisfied with the little things in life. Well, I am. All I want's a little mansion, a little yacht, and a little blonde. Uh, <laughs> No, Purse, no, Purse, you don't understand. Look, let me tell you about a fella I know now. He was in the Black Hand Society. Why was it called the Black Hand Society? Because they had a finger in anything that was dirty. <laughs> yeah. All right, what about him? Well, I was telling you, you see. Now, now this is a for instance. A for instance. A for instance. Here we go. Now, this guy got away with three smash and grab raids on jeweler shops. Did he chuck a brick through the window? Oh, not him. He's smart. He used his head. Yeah. And he pulled it off three times. Yeah, that's right. And do you know all he stole was a powder puff? Now, now that little story, that gives us a lesson, doesn't it, person? Yeah. Never lose your head over a little bit of fluff. <laughs> show welcomes James Harris as he sings That's Why Darkies Were Born. Brother, sisters, when the world began, there was work to be done and it seemed that someone left it to the colored man. Brother, Sisters, what must be, must be, for the value seems wrong, still your faith must be strong, accept your destiny. 
Indian brothers, listen to me. Someone had to pick the cotton. Someone had to plant the corn. Someone had to save and be able to sing. That's why the feet were pulled. Someone had to laugh at trouble. Oh, he was tired and worn. Had to be contented with any old thing. That's why darkies were born. Sing, sing, sing when you're weary and sing when you're blue. Sing, sing, that's what you told of white folks to do. Someone had to fight the devil, shout about Gabriel's soul. Someone had to slow the train that would bring good children to green pastures. That's why daddies were born. Sing, sing, sing when you're weak. When you're blue, sing, sing. That's what you taught all of white folks to do. Someone had to fight the devil, shout about Gabriel's horn. Someone had to stop a train that would bring. It's that glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pound that takes Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate out of the ordinary milk chocolate class into a creamy milk chocolate class all on its own. More people buy dairy milk than any other block chocolate because the milk in dairy milk makes all the difference. Milk gives dairy milk chocolate its deep down satisfying flavor. Milk plus Cadbury quality chocolate makes each of those 21 thick chunky squares so good for you. With its new reduced price, the quarter pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk is even better value. Buy a block tomorrow, you'll love it. The two shilling quarter pound Dairy Milk chocolate has everybody saying, I want Cadbury's. Hi, Jack. I, I was thinking about this money making business. Well, I hope you've given up all ideas of robbing banks. Yeah. I thought I might become a jockey. Well, you'd have to ride. You know, first, to do that, you'd, uh, yeah, you'd have to ride in a circular track. Why? Well, you just couldn't go straight. <laughs> okay. Hello, boys. Oh, hi, Alfie. Hi, Jellybean. Hey, have you seen my hairbrush? I can't find it anywhere. Was that a hairbrush? I've been using it to clean my boots. I wondered why your hair had that tan streak. More expense, you see, Jack. Money, money, money. Are you worried about money, Purse? How can I be worried about something I haven't got? <laughs> Elsie. What? Elsie, I think that you ought to know that Purse was planning to break into the bank this <gasps> afternoon. Oh, Purse, I'm ashamed. I'm disappointed. I'm broke. <laughs> Maybe so, Percy Brown, but there's still lots of ways of making money. Look at the man in this morning's paper. What's Mandrake got to do with us? Oh, no, Purse. This man raffled himself. Yeah? Yes. He sold thousands of tickets, and the prize was that he'd work for the winner for a year without pay. What institution's he in? Purse, he wasn't silly. He made 3,000 pounds out of it. Tickets, tickets, get the tickets here for the Jack Happy Monster Raffle. Yeah, first prize is that monster, Jack Happy. <laughs> Listen, Jack, I'm the one who's being raffled. 
Oh, I understand, Pierce. You got tickets on yourself. <laughs> you lie them, Jack. I'll sell them. <laughs> you lie them. Jelly Bean, tell me more about this bloke who raffled himself. 3,000 quid, you say, he made. That's right, Pierce. And I suppose he landed a nice, cushy job. Maybe a beautiful girl one, him, eh? Well, that's where the plan didn't quite work out too well. You see, he was won by a heavyweight champ and he had to be sparring partner for 12 solid months. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, manager leaves at four, the watchman comes on at five. No, 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 no. There's only one thing left to do, Pierce. Get a job. But, Jack, I don't want just an ordinary job. I want a feather me nest. Now, where could I get something like that? Straight out of a sick bed. <laughs> well, hello, it's Mr. Hercules. <laughs> the walking death. Herc, how's your wife these days? I've always admired her. I reckon she's got everything. I'll say she has bronchitis, tonsillitis, pneumonia, everything I ever hoped for. <laughs> well, it sounds as though she's really living. She is, but only just. Herc. Do you and your wife share everything? Oh yes, purse always. She wouldn't think of having a complaint by herself. She'd want me to have it as well. How did you manage with the children? <laughs> Mr. Hercules, we're looking for a job for Purse. Purse wants to make a lot of money. Well, there's a job going down at the woodyard. There you are, Purse. Work in the woodyard and you'll be in the chips. I'm sorry for that one. <laughs> But if you really want to make big money, why don't you do what a friend of mine does? He invents things. An inventor, eh? Yes. He invented pig pens for people who write to pigs. <laughs> Go on, eh? <laughs> well, Go on. It's your turn. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> Go on, eh? Another one of his inventions enables you to walk right through a brick wall. And what does he call that? A door. <laughs> he, was the man who in, he was the man who invented bookends. Bookends? Oh, how clever. That's the part I always read first. <laughs> you know, you ought to be able to invent something first. Yeah. Surely I could make something out of me head. Yeah, well, just stick a globe in your mouth and call it a lampshade. <laughs> Your purse. Yeah, but I'm Jack of you. Oh, boys, boys, please. Let's not bicker. We've got to think of an invention. Oh, there's dozens of them. Razor blades for slashing sorts. <laughs> Oxygen masks for bald-headed mountaineers. But why bald-headed ones? Well, with them, the air is very thin on top. <laughs> well, I've got to be going now. Me doctor's selling his operating table this afternoon, and I've been cut up over that. <laughs> well, see you again. Be brave. A glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pound. The same guaranteed weight, plus 21 thick, chunky squares of really creamy chocolate. These are just three of the many good reasons why more people are choosing the two-shilling quarter-pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk. From the first deep bite, Dairy Milk has a flavour that's really creamy. Dairy Milk is smooth, too. That smoothness is the delicious combination of milk plus Cadbury quality chocolate. The never-varying goodness and flavour of Dairy Milk chocolate has made it first favourite all over the world. Ask for Dairy Milk in the two-shilling quarter-pound block. It's today's best reason for I want Cadbury's. I've been thinking about this invention business, Elsie. Have your purse? Yes, there must be an idea in me head if only I could hit on it. I'll get the hammer. I mean an invention. Yeah, an invention. Let me see. I'll put my thinking cap on it. Listen, I... what about... Uh... Let's see, what about nutcrackers for use on hard-headed businessmen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Or what about an adding machine for teetotalers? <laughs> or a stock whip for artificial eye manufacturers? Yeah, or there's a... What? <laughs> what would artificial eye manufacturers want with a stock whip? To give them a few lashes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. A helicopter. Purse, what, what made you suddenly think of that? Oh, it wasn't sudden. An aeroplane's been whizzing around in my head for a long time. Brother, that was no aeroplane, that was a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot one. I'm glad you told me. Well, a helicopter's a very good idea, but do you think that you could make one? Of course I could, with a little assistance from Jack. Oh, a little assistance, sure, sure, Purse, anything to help a pal. <laughs> But a small consideration. I might have known. You should work in a butcher shop. You're always in for your chop. Mm. <laughs> Don't explain them. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, seriously, Purse. No, no, look. If we could build, if we could build a real helicopter right here in the backyard, we could make a fortune. Well, come on, let's go. Oh, Purse, if this is a success, I'll be so pleased I get a real kick out of it. Here, have a go so I can get it for you wholesale. Oh, hey. Hello, Sam. Hello. How's the shoplifting business? Oh, picking up. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, very funny. Ah, hey. Ah, no good, eh? Right, wait for it. Ah, now, look here. Uh, what about this nice nylon toothbrush? It's for uh, people with nylon teeth. No? No. Oh, right. Ah, well, here. What about this here dinner suit? Look, here. You can see where the previous owner spilled his dinner on it. No, thanks, Sam. <laughs> Well, we'll get down to here. Have you got anything that would interest me, Sam? No, I'll write out a straight jacket. Here, uh, look. Uh, uh, no, I did have a good little gadget you'd like. Oh, you love it. Oh, you did have a gadget. Well, uh, what do you do with it? Well, you pat yourself on the back with it. Oh. Uh, here. <laughs> hey. Uh, oh, missus. Hey, come here. How would you like a nice musical instrument? Now, what about a didgeriphonium? Uh, oh, no. All right. Well, here, look. Hey, you play the harp. Not yet, Sam, but give me time. <laughs> Well, what I always say is, if you want to play the harp, you've got to have plenty of pluck. <laughs> yes, yes. You've got to be able to pull a few strings, too. <laughs> no. Now, here. Now, look. Where? Hey, what? Hey, what? Oh, hey, 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 right. Hey, right. Now, look. Right. 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 Don't go away. This is stop in a minute. Uh, right. Right. Uh, right. Now, look here. Mum. Would you like 50 nifty nylon 50-50-90s? You know, half and half. Very thrifty, nothing shifty. Uh, <laughs> they're not shifty, I don't want them. But they're nice. How much? 1911 plus tax. Well, I'll take one, but I don't need the tax. I can keep it up with string. Ha <laughs> <laughs> no, ha! No, no, not that one. No, not that one. I can't one. buy that. Sam! Sam, tell me, do you know anything about, uh, about helicopters? Well, I don't even know anything about boats. Uh, no, hey, helicopters? Yeah, yeah, you know, those things that, that, that fly and hover overhead. Yes, oh, yes, I know them all right. They're mosquitoes. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, Sam. A helicopter's an aeroplane, but it's got propellers on top. Oh, oh, yes, I know now. Oh, yes, the one on board the boat we had out for the social club's fishing trip last weekend. Well, it must have been a very big boat if you had a plane on it. A plane? It had thousands. It was an aircraft carrier. Ooh. You mean to tell me you had a fishing trip on an aircraft carrier? Well, we either had to pinch that or a flat bottom dingo. <laughs> a flat bottom what? A dingo. <laughs> it's a four Don't you call me a dingo on all these people? <laughs> it's a four legged boat. Hey, if we stop. Well, right. wouldn't you know about the uh, helicopter, Sam? Hey, oh, yes. Oh, but I do. I do know about the helicopter. You look, do? Yes. Oh. Look, I was educated in Aboriginal mission. My knowledge covers a very wide sphere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. Believe me, brother, I see your point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, Sam? You see, Sam? Purse has invented the new helicopter, and we're going to build it right here in the backyard. Yes, well, the one that had the, the one on the boat had jets on the end of the propellers. That's something that's like what I had in mind. Oh. But I don't know how to make a jet engine. You don't? No. Oh, it's simple. Simple. Come on. Who? Why? What are you? Right. Right. That's on again. Right. Right. It's on again. Wait a minute. Uh, how to make a jet engine? Okay, take it easy. I haven't started jet. Right. Oh. Ah. No. You take four vacuum cleaners. You tie them on the end of each propeller, and you switch them on to blow instead of suck. It's easy. I'll try it out, Sam. Thanks. Oh, no trouble at all. No bless oblige. 
Well, I've got to be going now. Uh, I'm doing my stock taking this week, you know. It mounts up like I take a little from here and a little from there. It too mounts up. What's the matter? You having trouble? <laughs> I've left my engine running. Well, uh, we'll see you again next week, Sam. I can't be too sure about that. You wait till the producer sees me. I might be... Ro- hey, here, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Uh, I might be rowing in the police crew next week, yeah. Rowing in the police crew? That's right. Da, 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 you know. Yeah. Hey, well, the sergeant said he'd like to take me for a stretch up the river. I'll be seeing you. Rain Winter brings the current hit, Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Give him the word that I'm not a rover. Then tell him that my lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone, ain't got nobody to call my own, please give out that magic beam, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. I've ever seen. Give him the word that I'm not a rover. Then tell him that my lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Ain't got nobody to call my own. Please send out that magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Youngsters are never backward in coming forward when there's Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate about. Trust them to know a deep-flavoured chocolate when they taste it. It's the same with grown-ups, too. Everyone goes for dairy milk from the first deep bite. And besides being top chocolate value, dairy milk is so good for you. Each of those thick, chunky squares is an invitation to perfect enjoyment. Each one is packed full of smooth, creamy goodness. In the new low-price quarter-pound block, there's still that glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pound. Try a two-shilling block of Dairy Milk chocolate tomorrow. Dairy Milk, an irresistible reason for... I want Cadbury's! Well, there it is. The last bit in place. Yeah, and it looks just like a real helicopter. Does it? I've never seen a real helicopter. Yeah, neither have I, but that's what I think one it looked like. Ah, uh. uh, Jelly Bean, just wait till you see it work and you'll get a surprise. Yeah, wait till she sees you working and she'll get a bigger surprise. Oh, no. That's Mrs. Jenkins' little boy. Now, Purse, I've got a soft spot for him. So have I, right at the bottom of the sea. Tell me, what brings you up to my place, Sonny? Well, I came up to see what all the hammering was about. Now, listen, Joe Ball. Now, you just listen to me for a minute. What, what, uh, what did you come down here for, huh? Well, well, look who's here. It's the big, bright boy of broadcasting. <laughs> oh, hi, you recognize me, huh? <laughs> you realize that I'm the man who comes to you over the waves? Hey, yeah, and you make me sick. <laughs> you, whoa, let me out of here! Oh, steady, Jack, steady. Don't hit him with that. It's your only hammer. <laughs> What's that funny looking thing over there? That's purse, dear. No, no, I meant the thing they built. Oh. That's my new invention. Would you like a ride in it? Oh, would I? Oh, gee, thanks, mister. Well, come on. I'm up here. Uh, that's it. Now I'll switch on the jets. The vacuum cleaner. Same difference. 
There. Now she should take off. Hi, right, what's wrong? The propellers aren't going round. Well, it's one of the vacuum cleaners isn't switched off. All right, Sonny, climb that onto the end of the propeller and switch on the jet, will you? Yeah, right out, Woody. This one? Oh, just, just a second. There. That's it. It's on. Hey, 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 the propellers are moving. They're starting to spin around. Just hang on, son. It's only got enough fuel to last three weeks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's spinning faster. Hey, wow. Hey, look at it go, Bert. Come on, get me out of here. Yeah, it's working now. Something's gone wrong, though. Yeah. Hey, you're not doing it right. Let's go. Let's go. Stop the machine. Stop the machine. Hmm. Looks like a failure, Purse. The kid was too light. Failure nothing. I'm gonna get on. Else? <laughs> Off on the other side. Oh, me? Yes, you. All right, Purse, but you be careful. Start it up, Jack. Okay. Contact! Oh! What? Oh! 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 oh. oh. Where am I? Where? where help. Oh, steady, oh. steady, steady, steady. Oh. Looks like it's no go, Purse. Is that you, Jack? Yeah, but I'm over here. <laughs> then who are the two other guys? Purse, hold me up. Blimey, three jelly beans. <laughs> oh, I can't stand the sight. Say, say, you two are giddy. Well, your invention didn't move and it didn't prove a thing, Purse. No, Jack. <laughs> yes, it did. It proves what I've always said. Oh, what's that? If you go round with purse, you never get anywhere. <laughs> If you're always on the go, you'll appreciate the extra bonus of energy you get from nourishing, sustaining Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. You can really taste the milk in Dairy Milk, and there's a glass and a half of milk in each half pound. Remember, too, that Dairy Milk Chocolate is only one of the five Cadbury chocolates that have come down in price. The other favorites are Candy Nut, Fruit and Nut, Milk Lunch, Old Jamaica, and Energy Chocolate, the price being two shillings for the quarter pound block. Look for each of them at the shop where you normally buy dairy milk. Like dairy milk chocolate, their top chocolate value. All the more reason for saying, I want Cadbury's. In tonight's Cadbury show, you heard John Mellon as Jack Happy, Kevin Brennan as our old friend Purse, Frank Strain as Mr. Hercules, Ward Leopold as Sam Pools the salesman, Ray Harpy as the little boy, and Rita Pornsford as Elsie. Songs by Lorraine Winter and James Harris to the music of Wilbur Kentwell. Script by Hugh Stuckey, production No Judd. Now, this is Reginald Goldsworthy saying good night to you all from the Cadbury Show.